Hi Iris. Wednesday with four of pentacles. Look, very secure energy. You've got something which you were certain with. Often with four of pentacles is something which you have. I have this and I have to have it, okay? Cannot lose it, none of it. Might be amount of money, might be your property, might be something about you yourself, your principles, your something which you have decided, this is what I need, this is part of me, this is what I have, cannot lose, because that how I sustain myself, <laughs> this is that how I pay my bills, you see what I'm saying? Could be just some money, could be property, could be, as I said, just you with your principles, principles but there is something which you are holding dear two of swords again pairing it i mean a wednesday thursday i mean this energy uh, will follow you surely perhaps all this week it's important, definitely it's a full moon, it's culminating now. This problem with another, with your sibling, with your best friend, with your spouse, with somebody. Solution for you, not to discuss it, there's no point to talk about it, let it go. But surely there is something which you were um, holding dear, which you don't want to lose. Perhaps, as I said, this is your brother, or it's your sister, or it's somebody important to you okay you don't want to live without this person you want to you don't want to have life without this person because it's your brother you grew up with this person you don't want to lose this friendship you don't want to lose it i really feel on this day on wednesday because we do have just extension of these energies with two of swords you don't want to lose it that's what you don't want to lose that's what you want to secure that friendship that I don't know, relationship which you do have with another who's very dear to you. Um, you were you were painting here, <laughs> definitely. You don't have a visibility. You are still afraid that you will get hurt. So you will stay with the basic. You're only talking about problem, which is a real problem. You do feel it, okay? Maybe another one doesn't feel it as a real problem, but you do, okay? And even on this day, on Wednesday, it still stays there. Like, don't talk about that. If you can, you feel like if you bring it up, if you open your mouth to say something, it will explode. It might get worse. It will be terrible. You, you won't be able to control it. Yet, you were in control here. It's not much. With Four of Pentacles, you don't have much, but you do have that basic, okay, this person is important to me, and even though I do have problem, I was offended, I'm not going to discuss it, because this relationship is important. In that sense, just hold on to the relationship, onto that basic, onto that, onto that which is important right now. Anchor yourself there. Even though, as I said, you are very much afraid on this day, I kind of feel that is all about that fear that it might get worse. That's why you are not bringing it up. You are not discussing it at all. Because if you are saying it, if you say anything, if you bring up problem, anyhow, two of swords doesn't see a way to bring it up. As I said, if you bring it up, it will cause a much bigger problem, okay? It will perhaps divide you. You can lose that relationship. You can lose your brother, your sister, your best friend, your somebody who is important to you. So you might as well just keep quiet to preserve, to preserve that what you have, that basic, that relationship, that important thing for you here on Wednesday. Hi, Taurus. Ten of... Swords on uh, on Wednesday. Look, Ten of Swords, very, very unpleasant energy, can be worse, but we like it because it's over. Nothing wrong with Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, I really believe, because of this Monday, Tuesday, because of this magician, because of this decision, because of this new endeavor, new uh, um, studies, new profession, new something, okay, which you are beginning now, because of that, this is over. Some problem maybe with the money, maybe unemployment, maybe you um, didn't know what to study, what to do, how to choose your profession, maybe you didn't know for long time there was trouble with the ten of swords there was big trouble okay something which was really worried you with the ten of swords nothing is solved okay you couldn't win this this is this is um accepting defeat 
okay i couldn't do this with these people but i can now do something else because of this new you can finally get rid of this all right it's not getting rid of this it's to accept that you couldn't okay you tried you couldn't but you do have something new so new days coming new opportunities better life better something you can forget about this this is wednesday stays as uh, um, um, something sore you don't feel well on this day you still feel this defeat pain you feel on this day definitely because of that defeat you wanted something this was ideas this was communications this was people this was something which you really wanted and lasted and you couldn't it was just going from bad to worse from bad to worse and ended up you accepting it as a defeat here on wednesday Thanks to, okay, thanks to this Monday and Tuesday, otherwise perhaps you would still maybe push for this uh, lost cause. <laughs> um, today just feels a bit, um, it's paining, it's sore in your mind. It's said you don't like it. Surely, luckily, as I said, you can accept it and start moving on because you do have something which begins to move on. It's over. If this was lost cause anyway, as I said, it's over. This is circumstances. This is something which stands around you. But at this point, now today, you are very much aware of what you are start, starting now, what opportunity you do have in your life right now, okay? And it's great. Of course, it's great. But today, you will be pretty much concentrated on that, what you couldn't manage to be with, to do, to, I don't know, it was, as I said, it was lost cause. You will be pretty much concentrated on that. And the reaction is you feeling kind of lethargic, feeling not really happy with yourself just because of this defeat. Not because of that which you were having on offer, which is possible now. That is, in fact, saving grace. <laughs> But as I said today, you will be concentrated on that what was, which is going away, which defeated you. And you have to accept defeat. So you on this day, you cannot even think or look at that, what you are having, what you are beginning with. Because you will be all submerged <laughs> in the sorrow, in the worries of, of that what was, in pain, because of that defeat this Wednesday. Unpleasant, surely unpleasant, luckily goes away. Hi, Gemini. Four of uh, cups here on a Wednesday. Okay, four of cups is a seeing opportunity. There is opportunity, something around you, surely a Gemini present. But you are not answering, you are not... I don't know, even looking at it, you're not reacting. Perhaps on this day, you might feel a bit tired, you might feel a bit sickish. Okay, this is opportunity, definitely on offer. Maybe somebody invited you on a date, maybe somebody invited themselves to visit, but you were kind of keeping quiet, okay? I'll let you know, I will tell you later, I'm not sure. Um, the Four of Cups is not sure, not right now. Okay, um, not on Wednesday, surely. No king of wands. Um, I like this energy and it is within you. Um, it's you with this idea. You know that you can create something. Okay, that's what you have here. Might be consequence, this feeling might be consequence of this Tuesday, of this certainty that you can create something. And king of wands is just that. Nothing stands on my way. I can create. You know, when you have that feeling, there is nothing to stop you. You've got abilities, you've got knowledge, you've got money, you've got everything you can create. Very similar to um, the magician's energy. Just, I like this one a bit better because it's more trustworthy. Because it's stubborn, knows itself. Competent, capable, can do things on their own, with their two hands. In that sense, perhaps, on this day, on Wednesdays, how you feel about yourself. And that's perhaps the reason why this... New offer, new opportunity, which comes up here on Wednesday, is not so appealing to you because you've got something else which you are beginning and you're confident with. So what's that for? I mean, not interested at all because I've got better. I've got something for sure. 
might be something like that here on a Wednesday that you do have something on offer but you are not reacting because you do have something on your mind which you can begin with, which you can do for sure. Might seem beautiful this thing on offer, might seem even better but this is for sure, this you can for sure. I, I think that is the difference. Something which you have, which you know you can manage for sure and something which is on offer, which is just an offer okay might be truth might be doable might be um achievable but you don't know for sure and this you know for sure you can and you will perhaps stay with that i kind of connected here with uh, to this tuesday you do have something on tuesday there is page of wands developing into this energy now i know these two together in fact might uh, summarize with the energy of King of Wands, knowing for sure that you can do, achieve, make that money, finish that project, trying, relying on yourself because you're confident here and whatever that's on offer right now, you are not accepting it because you will be busy, okay, His contract is a sign or something and you will be busy or you are choosing that what you have in your hands rather than that which is on offer and you were not sure about Hi, Cancer. Wednesday with four of wands for you, Cancer. Four of wands is stable energy. Every card number four is stable. That four of pentacles on Monday, that's also very safe, secure and stable. Four of wands is a bit jolly. This is a bit dull. Um, not really happy energy, but, you know, brings stability. This one as well. But this one does have opening four of pentacles is enclosed contracted but this one opens up to expand that is big difference between these two fours anyway on wednesday your four of wands as i said opens up doors for you to expand, to make more, to make, make better, to make happier. Um, maybe we can talk some sort of celebration as well. These people are celebrating at home and it's paired with another four, four of cups. No, Four of Cups is a third story, okay? There is surely some opportunity for you to go further, to develop further, to bring this relationship to the next level. Maybe it's just a relationship which was formed recently, okay? And you like that as is, okay? Now, perhaps your partner is insisting for you to move in, to bring it to another level or so, but you are reluctant to, reluctant to do so. Even though relationship is great, it's not long-standing relationship, but still it's a loving, it's a safe relationship and perhaps your partner thinks it's time to move on, but you were very, very reluctant, still very cautious. Maybe next month, maybe next year, I don't know right now. That's your answer um, on this day. But still, relationship is great. Four of Wands is keeping it in balance, okay? Balanced relationship and this one is developing developing very stable relationship there is nothing right now to to threaten this relationship so all's good it's only that you you are just just not ready or reluctant or cautious but you are not there you wouldn't maybe you will but right now you're just thinking about that is it really time i'm not sure myself this Wednesday, time has come for you to expand, to move on, to bring it to another level. With the relationship, I'm talking relationship to people, to people here, okay? Everything screams, hey, relationship. <laughs> but that could be business partnership as well, could be just your life in general, that you received this stable plateau somehow. It's a first stage and you're supposed to move on, okay? You're supposed to move further. Um, but you are right now reluctant to do so. You do have some sort of opportunity. You do have some sort of offer, but you're not sure should you take it now? Should you wait for better, for better times, for better offer, for better salary or so? But anyway, you don't have answer today on Wednesday. Hi, Leo. 
Now we can dig within these two of wands and find many problems, okay, for this indecisiveness. But still, paired with the Ten of Swords is greatest energy to have because it talks about optimism, plans for the future, seeing, opening your eyes, not being scared, not laying down, not feeling defeated. No, this one is not defeated. This one is planning big perhaps bigger than maybe he can achieve, maybe, doesn't need to be, but yeah, that it could be problem with the two of wands, planning too big, but still, as I said, it's better to plan too big than to feel defeated uh, on this day. Five of Cups on Wednesday. Look, Five of Cups shows this person a very very sad person but sadness is coming from from your past where you've been who you've been with what you had in your life what happened earlier okay that what brings sadness memories from your past this is sad memories um, sad events um, some sort of defeat yeah we do have defeat here as well three cups spilled on the ground your emotions are all over okay you can put them together though if you just try if you just begin to look at that what you could do you will surely feel much better two cups are standing straight behind this person there is good reason okay to feel much better about your future about your current situation you do have something to want to cups behind this person okay there is something forming not they yet perhaps it just begins to form decision is not they yet to move on with it that why perhaps we do have this sadness looking into past comparing your past with today's and being disappointed three of swords just confirms disappointment i mean i, I kind of feel that you are comparing like earlier which was unhappy unhealthy which failed for some reason i really believe that today you are just intoxicating yourself <laughs> with things from your past comparing them and predicting that now nah, it's never gonna be for me look what happened earlier it's exactly the same situation now so it's gonna be failure again i will never succeed because of so and so i mean this is being very very sad being depressed Okay, and you are making it to yourself just because forcing yourself to remember, to bring that up, difficulties from your past, people, bad people, toxic people from your past, situation, failed situations, failed business, failed attempts to some sort of success. You see what I'm saying? You perhaps did have something like that earlier and you are bringing it up, comparing to this possibility, to these plans which you are having now, which are great in general, but compare it to that what was, to that bad experience, you know, sad experience, and you are feeling down, you feel like depressed, like it cannot be better than this, I mean, it's just repeating itself. <laughs> I think you are seeing this cycle which cannot develop in your life. You start something big, plans, big future, and that, and then uh, um, nothing out of it. And uh, I really believe you are seeing it in the same manner today. Very depressive. Look, with the both of them, it says there is something currently that you can look up to okay something which you can develop something formed already you can go and develop that this you can go and develop it this relationship this partnership this something which you have started which is a very present in your mind on tuesday you can turn into that and be optimistic and enthusiastic about your future but you kind of choose to feel like the yucky on this day. Yeah, I kind of think for some reason it's it's your choice. Particularly with five of cups. That one chooses to look at failures, not at possible wins. So in that sense, this Wednesday, remembering bad and sad from your past and feeling bad and sad. <laughs> Just like that here for this Wednesday. Hi Virgo. Seven of Cups. Um, okay, Seven of Cups is very dreamy energy with lots of options, lots of possibilities, some 
ideas which you are having. What could you do from now on since you don't have this anymore, since you are not employed anymore, since you don't have that you know, the horrible business anymore, since you don't have that toxic relationship anymore, what you can do now, okay, what is in front of you now, possibilities, and I kind of like to think that Seven of Cups is sitting on optimism, I always say that I kind of like this dreamy energy sitting on something optimistic, okay, it's can, it can be beautiful, it can be another person in my life, beautiful, yeah, it's going to be optimistic, with the Queen of Wands today. Look, Queen of Wands is exciting energy. It's fiery, very fiery energy. Um, kind of unusual, sort of unsuitable for you. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you put it together with a Seven of um, Cups, then it's kind of, I suppose, it's all right to have it within yourself. Because I don't think you will ever, ever act as this eccentric person, this is very eccentric, fearless one, brave one, will do, why not, whatever I want, I will do. Now on this day, perhaps, whatever you want, you will dream about, I mean, endless, brave, whatever can cross you, whatever comes to your mind, it will be, you will construct, you will make scenarios, you will begin to live in that situation, you know, to feel it, to taste it, that new situation, new possibility, all day long, okay, it's this day just about that, just for that, just to taste your future by constructing, just constructing some scenarios based on your dreams, on your ideas, on your possibilities, options, whatever that crosses your mind. As I said, with Queen of Wands, there's no end of your dreams, of the possibilities. Very, very brave, exciting energy. But as I said, I like them together because you are looking forward to what is possible for you from now on. You are not down, you are down here, okay? Energies of being very uh, uh, disappointed on this day or you disappointed somebody else and you felt it, definitely. But I like this feeling of optimism. Looking, finally looking into your future because it's all of it. Monday, Tuesday is related to something from your past which you're supposed to get rid of some time ago, okay? That was your mistake, but you were rectifying it. You, you cannot even fix it, in fact. It's breaking down. You see what I'm saying? And I like to see Wednesday opening up, opening your mind towards future, okay? Possibilities, options, what you can and you can. There is nothing with Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups, nothing which you cannot. Even if something ridiculous here comes with Seven of Cups because it is your mind, you can bring in your mind option which is totally ridiculous, totally out of your current you can still explore it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's a dreamy day. Lots of fantasies. I mean, I think this is fantasizing about your future, about possibilities, and enjoy. This is just because you are enjoying the moment that future is now open in front of you. Just that sort of excitement about your future where everything is possible. Nothing concrete, nothing concrete on this day, but everything is possible and that makes you so excited on this day. Hi Libra. Five of Pentacles. Not really nice, always disappointing, always lacking something, not having enough money, not feeling well, feeling sick, being disappointed in people, uh, you know, around you, expecting that people will understand and they didn't, okay, feeling left alone, excommunicated because you wanted this, you behave like this, now you were excommunicated, might be something like that, let me pair it first, yeah, ten of swords, ooh, such a day, not really feeling good on this day, disappointed, totally. This is bottom. If you were sick on this day, you've got some flu, or you're going to be in the bed with fever, feeling, not feeling yourself, like hardly alive. In that sense, might indicate, you know, you being in the bed very sick on this day. But then, look, this energy progresses now. <laughs> 
and um, yeah you're not gonna get that what you wanted you're not gonna be that what you want you can be that what you want that what you insist i am i want to be i this is who i am this is what i will create this is where i go uh, yes, you will, but you will be excommunicated. You won't have these people backing you up. Like you have decided you're going to travel somewhere and your parents were against it. Yes, you have decided I will go anyway, but you're not going to have financial support from your parents. Okay, in that sense. And you will be devastated. It seems to me that you won't even manage, okay, to execute this idea to go after that what you wanted okay for yourself to to sustain that what you insisted on okay you won't be managing you won't manage that it's it's failure it's defeat if they do not support you your parents your religious group these some people if they don't support you you will not manage you will feel poor, you will feel devastated, you will feel left alone. You see what I'm saying? You won't manage to do something which you wanted to do and they will not support you. You will feel it here on Wednesday. You cannot go and do that what you want to do. You cannot execute this idea. You cannot create it because people are not supporting it. And you by yourself, you cannot. Hi Scorpio. Four of Wands on a Wednesday. Your home energy, feeling comfortable with yourself, with your decision, with the way you were, with this partnership, maybe. If we can maybe talk partnership with this person from a Monday, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, two people definitely standing very happy together. Um, with that what they created so far this is first stage completed and the two of you very happy just made agreement some sort of partnership or you've done something already okay that first stage is completed something is done from this point now you're supposed to build it up you're, suppo you're supposed to work further much further than this but so far so good with four of pentacles time to celebrate because you have achieved some agreement, some success, something you have achieved. And quite happy energy, this four of wands. Stable in a way. I mean, as long as you are ready to continue from here on, um, it's good. And yeah, you are planning to continue. Of course, there is some energy within you. You are surely beginning to create something. Now we can talk success. There is big success which you are expecting for yourself. This is just the beginning, okay? This is just first steps. As I told you, four of our wands is that first phase, first steps, first stepping stone you created for yourself to rely on it. This is established something for two of you. Now from here, big future, bright future in front of you, some big project, something which is supposed to last for a long time, okay? Sun energy brings um, opportunity to develop something on a on the long run, something which will develop, which will grow year after year. You see what I'm saying? In in that sense, these two together. Look, we can also talk just home, okay? Buying home, reconstructing your home, um, having family, deciding to have family, deciding to have child, deciding to get married, could also be something like that. We were still talking that bright future, something which will develop and grow with time another many years you got a bright future okay with that what you have on this day little bit very beginning but bright future for that what you have here on Wednesday hi Sagittarius nine of swords not really happy energy is fearful energy nine of swords energy of mm, nightmare okay often often explained through unfounded fears when you were doubtful and you might be in fact because of this past failure I suggest actually that you might have a little bit of doubts within yourself okay or doubts for your child or doubts are there definitely what if what if happens as it used to happen like so many times before 
as it used to be so many times before. You see what I'm saying? It's nothing here right now on any of these days that suggests that things will go wrong. Nothing, nothing. But you, you are doubtful, fearful. You know, fear when you're supposed to travel somewhere, you're supposed to sit in the car and travel another 200, 250 kilometers or so, and you were thinking all the time about accidents on the road. In that sense, you are forcing these fears and you can't stop simply you have doubts, you have this nightmare, you, you're so feverish um, and you cannot stop doubting situation, doubting everything here which seems fine, which seems great, but it's all in that realm of idea, still great idea, but still just an idea and you are perhaps doubting still on this day with a seven of swords. Look, wanting to just run away. I mean, you are overwhelmed, overpowered, okay, by these doubts and fears on this day. I, I really think that is unfounded, but uh, you just cannot take it any longer. You're definitely thinking to just leave it all, to stop even planning, to stop even doing, to stop investing, to stop trying. You, you would rather to leave it all together kind of to defect, leave behind whatever that is happening down there, that battle, that, that things which you're supposed to try, supposed to do, supposed to win over, just leave it because you cannot take it, it's perhaps too stressful, it's too much, it's too big effort, it's, too, I don't know, um, I think it's just being overwhelmed, I don't know what is reason for it, but um, you kind of feel that it's no point at all. You might as well stop trying all together. Here on Wednesday, I mean, very, very bad Wednesday. Okay, by the way, Nine of Swords could be you being in the bed. I mean, with headaches, with fever, with, um, I don't know, some pain, pain in your back could be back pain as well. Uh, but anyhow, still, it's not good day. Day is such a shitty day this Wednesday. Hi, Capricorn. But we do have a happy full on Wednesday. <laughs> Lovely, okay. Childlike energy, happy energy, very enthusiastic, being ready to change something, to change yourself. On this day, this energy is out there. You do surely feel much better. There is some opportunity, something came up to your mind, this King of Cups. Maybe somebody who's Pisces or Scorpio or maybe Cancer person, okay, told you how to deal with situation, where to go, what to do, or you simply woke up on this day and you knew. Because look, Four of Swords is finding solution, very intelligent energy, quiet, uneasy, uncomfortable, you know, but produces results, brings clarity, brings decision, and I really believe that what you have here, you just woke up and you knew, oh, this I'm going to do, I'm going to have my life happier. I'm going to change myself completely. I'm going to do this concrete thing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? As I said, maybe somebody out there helping you, advising you. This King of Cups is very diplomatic, very intelligent energy, understands emotions. Maybe somebody really understood. So you suffering here. Okay, this, this, is, this was suffering here on Tuesday, I'm telling you. And somebody saw it and perhaps did something for you, told you, helped you somehow, lift your spirit up, if, if nothing else, if nothing more. And you felt a bit better on this day. Maybe it's your father, okay, because perhaps you do feel like a child on this day. But still, okay, general energy here that you were ready now to take a big leap of faith, to change something drastically in your life. You are showing readiness. You are showing enthusiasm, happiness for this new life, for what is possible for you, for what you perhaps can do. You see what I'm saying? Which you kind of couldn't. You, you felt a bit doubtful or um, kind of maybe melancholic, bitter lately. On this day, different. Yeah, hip hip hooray, I can really. Somebody is helping you or you simply woke up in the morning like that with new idea, 
new state of mind. I'm not going down, I am going up. And that's it. And feels good just because you have decided that you're going to wake up and move on to change your life completely. Change yourself completely. Change the residence, change the business and looking forward to it and feeling good just because of that. Could be just you uh, with this King of Cups. Just feeling good because you made decision about change, big change. You feel confident that this energy feels feels like a million bucks on this day. With no particular reason, okay, the fool's energy is a zero point. There is no particular reason now on Wednesday that why I'm, you know, beating around the bush because there is no concrete idea still, okay? It's just a feeling that you're capable. I mean, you don't have to be down. You don't have to be bitter. You know yourself. You're capable. You're hardworking. You can. Maybe just something like that. Just feeling good about yourself. Uh, invigorated, okay, enthusiastic about yourself, about your abilities, about your life, about changes which you can make. Why not? Just like that this Wednesday, but better, much better than Tuesday, of course. Hi, Aquarius. Ten of Wands on Wednesday. And Ten of Wands is completion of some sort. Carrying some sort of burden, some sort of responsibilities, and doing these negotiations for a very long time. And then it's about there to complete, to finish, okay? And usually we are expecting rewards. Once this one is finished and complete, rewards will, will follow. Normally, Ten of Wands stands with that. We'll make something which you can work with. Seven of Pentacles is talking about your investment, about some some something very useful, some capital, okay, some savings, some property, something which is very useful for you. You can use this, you can invest it, and you are almost there. This is almost finished. You will just now have this money in your hands, okay, it will be deposited on your account, and you can use it to invest, to do something with it. There is a reward, okay, very soon. You are expecting a reward for this hard work for these negotiations, for that what you have done, okay? It, it took some time, Ten of Wands always takes a little bit of time because it's a big responsibility, big, big, big um, burden, big obligations of some sort, but supposed to bring you something, okay? Something very useful. You are expecting that you will have some amount of money, some property, something which you can use to make more, to invest. To, to do something for yourself with that. That is, in fact, your reward you are expecting very, very soon. As soon as everything finished and it's almost there, hey, you'll have your reward. Hi, Pisces. Nine of Wands, tying up loose ends, okay, completing something. Completion is needed of some sort. You have started something long time ago and you neglected it. And now time has come for you to attend it again. And you are doing it not readily, not happily, but you know that you have to. Nine of Wands knows I have to do this. Okay? You have to. Otherwise, big loss. You will suffer if you don't. It's kind of all of it. Whatever that you have done till now depends on that finishing thing, finishing touches. Okay? Otherwise, doesn't count at all without you to finally conclude and finish with the last thing. Look, let me get back to this Tuesday about this Five of Cups. Could be that you did have information because Page of Pentacles is a news, information that you have to do something. Maybe this news was about doing something which you are not which you were not prepared to do at all. You forgot about that, okay? It's your responsibility, but you thought, no, I've got something else. I don't have to do this. Or you just forgot about that. Now, there's news, there's information. Oh, Pisces, you have to do it, attend it, finish it, and you were not really happy remembering that you have to do that. Now it comes here on Wednesday for you to attend it, to tie up loose, le loose ends, to complete it. Completion. And you will be, okay? There is Knight of Pentacles. I mean, whatever that you have to do, you'll do. This is outstanding project or something. 
you will have to. It's not, as I said, it's not ready, Lee, but you will do it. This isn't something new. This is all you know how to. You've got your routine, nothing to surprise you, nothing new that you have to learn. It's just that you have to do it, okay? It's all... I mean, belongs to that what you know, to your current knowledge, to your standard. This is all standard, okay? It's just that you didn't want to do it or you forgot. Maybe, look, could be that came up for you to redo it because it wasn't perfect. Maybe something like that, that you were unhappy how you have concluded something, all right? Now it's Mercury is retrograde. Could very well be something like that for you, Pisces, that on Tuesday you realized, okay, I've done that, but I'm not happy. I can do better, okay? And on a Wednesday, you bring it back and you are redoing it to make it perfect, to make it final, okay? You made it final, but you didn't like it how you made it final. Now you're going to redo do it and finally it's going to be to your satisfaction to show yourself as professional as capable person you see what i'm saying you don't want you don't want to release this okay project or something unless it's really perfect so might be that you are redoing something willingly just because you were not happy how you have done it how you have concluded redoing things to show you as capable professional this time. Maybe something like that as well here on Wednesday. 